Many shop owners and vendors say they have occupied shops at the Kingstown Bus Terminal, better known as Little Tokyo, for more than two decades. And one of them is Kendall Neverson, who operates a mini mart, which includes the sale of liquor. Yes, I am so happy. I really was looking forward for this many years. We have got so many meetings with the government, and from Camden Park, Victoria Park twice, Methodist Hall. I remember that, all of that, meeting after meeting, and up to today's day, nothing. And like, I, 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 do hope, I do hope it's really the time is now. During his 2023 budget presentation, Minister of Finance Camilo Gonzalez said that the redevelopment of Little Tokyo is slated for the last quarter of this year at a cost of 3.1 million EC dollars. However, Neverson and other shop owners who chose to speak off camera said they were informed to prepare to remove in the first quarter of 2023 and await on the Kingstown Town Board to inform them on their next move. Because look, my shop personally, I already take out certain things. I don't buy anything to stop the shop anymore because we were told that start to get prepared. We have to get out of here for, um, for the first quarter. So I'm in the process of doing so and right now, I'm not making money because as we were here and we see someone come and ask for more. It don't make sense I go and buy, start my cola, and I don't know when, are we, when do we have to remove from, from Little Tokyo. I would like to know what they plan for us in that two years. If they're just going to send us home, just like that, if they're going to um, relocate us for that two years, uh, if they're going to compensate us, you know, I would like to know. The last meeting with the Kingstown Town Board officials was held late last year, which ended abruptly, reportedly following disorderly behavior. They tried to have a meeting, and I tell you, they were not successful at all with the behavior of many vendors. Even those who have already got money from the government, from the wall over there. Other shop owners who spoke off camera said they are in favor of relocation. So I would, I would actually prefer relocation. One of my suggestions about the relocation would be um, the place that they build and the, the old airport over there for the, the children. When they finish the schools, that same place could probably be a good spot to relocate with. I can rest and assure that as long as God gives me that life, I know I'll be coming back. After he already went to Tokyo, rules and regulations must put in place. But one of the things that the Prime Minister himself will have to take into consideration is that little Tokyo is where the ordinary man and woman comes most of the time to ease their frustration. I am really look forward for this place to be renovated and renovated speedily. Rules and regulation, and let's get some business going again once again. Meanwhile, vendors also agree with the move to redevelop the area. I understand the government going to handle this place, and I agree with it. We really want to handle it, right? But uh, we have nowhere to go. When they push me out, we have nowhere to go. So we got to have to just go home and until they're done with Tokyo. There are just over 30 shops, the majority being bars. Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez on numerous occasions said that ram shops will have to go, but owners will be compensated. Larissa Pogsley-Kid, SVG TV News.